basement of the gunsmith. Oh, yeah. Thinking of going after them, are you? I wager you're more than up to it. I happen to know that fella is a farm in the swamp. Hey, this family. friend but uh hey, what you doing here just visiting old friends i guess well you better get out of here there's a there's a bunch of government agents i met asking about you all across town yeah them and a bunch of bounty hunters too i think uh so yeah yeah but <laughs> you don't seem too scared guess not well they seem pretty mad What'd you do? Nothing good. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, you better get out of here. <laughs> Stray, father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. Hey there, partner. Partner? Oh, father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. A brave man, undone by pride, doomed to a lack of sin. <laughs> this right i can't daddy please let him in he's been trying for hours he ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse <gasps> they're here for your bounty <gasps> come to mama boy Don't shoot. I'm an arm. I knew you was coming. I got something to ask. Mark, help! Hey, over here! Ah. Leave my daddy alone. Shit! Billy, leave it! I just wanted to say goodbye, boy! 
You're the man now. You can't be soft no more. That talk. Just be strong, boy. Let's go for a ride. It's just us now, son. It's just us. <laughs> Daddy did a bad thing. <laughs> This is Rhodes. You're almost shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Your past catches up with you. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your path gets you up. Okay. to be. Sure thing. Like me down if you change your mind. So partner, can I get a ride? So where are you going? Keep me in mind for future oh, right.
It's me. Welcome back. Just calm down. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I am not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. You doing all right? Not great. I know how you feel. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the 
San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> If you more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Help! What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or Driscoll boys are coming! windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! There must be just one company. Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey! I said is everyone accounted for? I don't know! I think! Let's go! She's still out there! Cover me! Okay. Who's this lady here? Dutch always had a fondness for women. Hold on! Lady?
We okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Home O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. did that to him. To Karen? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algy Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay.
Get the horse out of here. All right, simmer down. Yeah. Yep. Let's get. Idiot. Down to cover now. Hello again, stranger. What a surprise. Keep the fire on. Come here. And plenty of lead here. Plenty of come here. And plenty of lead here. It's all good. Calm down. You don't want to see what happens if you don't leave. Sit tight. You'll be all right.
So up now. Need to leave you here, girl. Hey! You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. You remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, sure, I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on. Let's get us that death. Uh, this is as fast as I can go. Someone's here, boy. Pop. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, miss. Ah! I cut your damn head! Clean up! Ah! Still oh. think you're tough? Leave me alone. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky.
I think I know the sum. And that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. Hold up. 